Hey guys, for this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up custom textures inside the engine so that you can continue to uh, design new textures and see what they look like on your models as you go. So uh, first we're going to go to settings and make sure that you have your content path set. Uh, so this is going to load in whatever textures that you have set in this folder. Uh, I would recommend PNGs as that's uh, what currently can be injected into the game. Uh, so once you have that folder set, you can then go over here to the character designer. And I work primarily out of Photoshop, so I'll go ahead and show you guys if we load this up. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go over to our variation builder and then set to textures and you can see there in the top so whatever textures you're loading in uh, will be loaded in in that top uh, slot so everything else will be amended on after that and then in uh, Photoshop we can actually load in our textures so uh, or whatever photo editing software you have um, GIMP is good or, or whatever whatever you might want to use. Uh, here's that first texture loaded into Photoshop. So just for sample, you can see that basically if I want to go in here and make an edit or change uh, to, this, um, to this model, you can go in there and do whatever it is that you're trying to do to this model uh, or this texture. And then if you hit save and then go back to the Infinity Designer. We're going to go to, for example, Aiden's face. So first we're going to go to Properties, go ahead and select. So this is going to be his face. And then we're going to select the Diffuse Map here. And when we do that, you can see, so you can either press the Textures button again to reload those textures. Uh, and then once you have that selected, you can see here that when we press it, it actually goes ahead and applies that change uh, to the model. So if we want to sit here and make changes uh, and kind of design our own uh, custom look or design to this character, uh, you can actually go in here and do this very quickly uh, and then hit save. Again, we'll just go ahead and press the textures button and then apply that change. And so you should be able to go in here and use this so you can focus in on the, uh, the head and let me know what you guys think about the current levels of zoom uh, and being able to go in and focus on uh, the individual parts of the body. The camera system is supposed to help with this process of being able to determine uh, what you're editing. So please let me know if you uh, have any changes or uh, if this is adequate for what you guys are trying to do. Uh, so as you go, obviously, we're just going to undo these changes that I made here and we'll save again and we'll reload and it won't actually update until we reapply that. So you just have to reapply that down. Uh, so these won't actually show up in the game until you go and actually set up your um, R pack. So there is not currently a really easy way to get this information into the game without using the 010 editor. Uh, but there are some different processes being created for trying to get your custom materials and textures and, or sorry, rather textures into the game along with models. And so uh, as the support continues to update, I'll be adding that support uh, to the uh, to the Infinity Designer as we go. So stay tuned for more updates when you save this out. So uh, whatever you're setting on this player uh, will save with this ID of your textures. So as long as you're able to actually get these textures inside the game, uh, this will now immediately load on the player. Uh, so all you have to do is go in here and hit save. Uh, and this player will now be available in the future uh, for actually loading in and uh, sharing with the community or just using it in the future as long as you have that R pack available. Um, but hope this helped. Uh, if you, for example, have to use the, well, so if you're using the 010 uh, editor to get this into the game, whatever texture you're applying it to, uh, it would have to be one of the textures that I have in the Infinity Designer. Uh, actually, that's not true. 
uh, sorry, belay that. You can add whatever text you want, and then you can search for that texture in here. So if you have one specific texture that you're replacing, you can go in and load uh, that one specific texture. And as long as you know you're actually replacing that, you know, say you've actually replaced this texture uh, inside the files using the 010 editor. Uh, then even though you've assigned it here and it doesn't look right, it will then load in properly in the game uh, once you load in, provided you have that R pack updated. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions and look forward to your feedback. Happy gaming.